Hey, thanks so much, Francis. Well, meantime, the leader of the Turks and Caicos presented his state of address recently. It touched on several of his accomplishments and plans to move the islands forward, but not everybody liked or even agreed with what he had to say. Our One Caribbean News, DeAndre Hamilton, reports. The People's Democratic Movement was not impressed by the State of the State one-year anniversary report delivered by Premier Washington Mizik recently. They are also not impressed that come April, tax on salaries through the National Insurance Board will increase. The opposition party says there is no creativity being employed to find other ways to protect the plan, which is running out of money. You look at local investment, if you invest into the airport, the government airport, you know you will get a return on the departure tax that will be paid. That $25 million to do the cruise center, you know you will get a return on the hair tax. So we are saying as the opposition, why local lucrative investments, why are we not considering that as a government, as a country? The men met with executives of the NIB and they also met with the Royal TCI Police about the concerning rate of crime. All in with the police department, give them everything that they want right now, that they need. Which is mobile, where you can have a station in an area posted um, one minute and in the next 10, 15 minutes it can be in another area. And what this does is basically it, it deters um, criminal activities and crime from happening. They want government to refrain from the increased tax, which will roll out in a staggered approach over three years. And they want to see police funded fully for what is needed to curb crime. The People's Democratic Movement is also calling for a fair living wage and cut downs on customs duty to soften the blow of this radical inflation. We report everything, but we are not hearing our leaders, you know, the government talk about the supply chain, and that is very disappointing. The cost of living is too high in Turks and Caicos Islands. We have to look at whether minimum wage is the key, uh, uh, the duty concession on items coming in, if we have to adjust it that way. DeAndre Hamilton reporting.